Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Witchwood expansion, this time with our first match featuring our Cube Warlock deck. Let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get that first win. Gul'dan versus Taranda! Someone give me strength. Your souls shall be mine! Alright, looks like we got a priest. Probably spiteful or combo, uh, or miracle, but most likely spiteful. Um, I'm gonna keep my mountain giant. I'm gonna keep this whole hand. This is not a bad opening hand. Tar Creeper would be nice, but. Or maybe a Kobold Librarian, but, uh, this is a great removal option. We can kill it right off the bat if we need to, and Mountain Giant is always a good turn Doctor. four or five. Uh, I think since we went first, turn five is the earliest we can get it. I could be mistaken on that. Doctor. Good that our opponent doesn't have any early game stuff, though. We have two voodoo dolls, which is actually kind of interesting. It's more than I really need. But these two mortal coils should be fairly nice, because um, they won't really affect our mountain giant ramp. Although, at this point, I'm wondering if it's even going to be relevant. Well, regardless, next turn we can mountain giant. It is turn four. Always turn four. It's... I always think I can play him on turn three if I go second, but the coin... That's why I got thrown. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're gonna definitely Mountain Giant next turn, which is great against his 4-7 and 8-8 is definitely good play. Hopefully he does not have uh, a death on hand. Assuming not, we have some other half-decent options. Voodoo Doll is weird with Spirit Singer Umbra. Can I insta-kill whatever it is while it's still alive? And then I guess just nothing happens when it dies. It's kind of cool. I wonder if maybe if they resurrected it. Well, it'd be a different card idea, I think, then. There's some pretty fun mechanics that I've seen uh, with Voodoo Doll and uh, minions that get, like, bounced to people's hands and stuff like that. So it looks like it is Miracle, which is a little concerning. Fortunately, we have a Dark Pact. Um, less fortunately, we don't really have anything to trigger it, so we're just going to do one of these. F your miracle. Ah, shoot, I should have gone for the, uh, that was silly of me. Oh, well. Should have gone for, uh, something slightly different there. Dark Pact would have been better. Since it would have healed me, but, uh, yeah, we'll just say I did that on purpose because I was saving the healing for later and wanted to draw. Because what if we draw a Mountain Giant next turn, you guys, right? <laughs> totally on purpose. Um, hopefully that... Put the, took the wind out of his sails a little bit. I'm sure he was counting on having the those spells to build towards his miracle play. Looks like chances are decent. I think he's hoping to get a kill card here to take out my 8-4. If we can draw any of our combo pieces, we have a great hand for a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, six mana, six mana. I could Doom Guard, but I hate just playing Doom Guard in this deck. Um, Spirit Singer, but don't really have anything I could drop right away that would get a benefit from it. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally gonna Hellfire. That's brutal. That's so brutal. Okay, so we still keep our guy alive. I'm actually gonna Life Tap because I can. And yeah. Jesus, this uh, this mountain giant is just doing work. Like, barely even need any of the cube block tools, honestly. Famous last words, I know. Um, let's see. So next turn, if we wanted to, I mean, really, we should just doom garden. That's lethal. But if he does play something that's gonna mess with that, um, we have. Hmm. Let's see. Do we really have any other options? I can deal five with this. So actually, that's lethal too. Cool. Ah, but he does have a way to remove it. What a butt! I was doing stuff, man. Come on. Let's see, I would not mind drawing Possessed Lackey. He'd be a guaranteed, um... Oh, we'll take a three-drop Mountain Giant for sure. Shall we do... Yeah, let's go three... Voodoo Doll this thing, even though it's not the best use of Voodoo Doll, but it could be worse. And we're gonna Dark Pact and get all of our health back. Sweet! 
Okay, we're still in a great position, but we do need to worry a little bit about big taunts coming out since we don't have any more direct removal in our hand. Um, but we do still have, like, Godfrey and a couple other things in the deck, tools like Hellfire that are going to be able to snipe stuff off. Also, of course, Lesser, lesser Amethyst Spellstone. What? What buffed my Amethyst Spellstone? What card did I hit myself with? Is someone injured? I'm honestly not... Oh, Hellfire. Hellfire, gotcha. Interesting. I never really thought about that interplay. Okay, so we have eight mana to play around with here. He's just got a Northshire Cleric. He's at 17, so there's pretty much no way we have lethal, I don't think. I can deal five, plus eight is 13. We're gonna be four short. Uh, there's no trick with Umbra or anything that I can think of here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go for a draw. I'm trying to think. There's not really actually anything we could draw that would make the difference. Um, okay. So let's think future. Probably be good to get a taunt down, and then Amethyst Spellstone him. Well, I could taunt down and then Doom Guard all the same, but if he did Shadow Reaper Transformation, we'd be in trouble. Let's go for Tar Creeper here, and then um, I'm going to Amethyst Spellstone his face. Oh, I can't. It's minions only. Okay. Well, that changes quite a bit. I'm going to Doom Guard. Oh, that's pretty, pretty hard losses there, but... We're setting up for another turn. Hopefully he does not have the Shadow Reaper transformation that I fear he may. And it's turn eight too, so he'd hit it on curve. Uh, be still my beating heart. No, I think he left. He's not even looking at his hand. Hmm. I think we did it with basically just mountain giants. We didn't play any of the signature cube block cards outside of uh, Dark Pact, but we didn't even use it on a cube. Or possess Lackey, for that matter. Crazy Hail Mary. Something to give them both taunt. Uh, greater Healing Potion. Oh, it's cute, but doesn't really do much. I think that's going to be it. Nice. Yeah, he's just getting maximum damage. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. Cube Lock getting uh, our first win of the series. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.